guys welcome back to my channel if you guys are new welcome to my channel my name is Shamara Candace. But yeah we're just gonna get right into the video this is gonna be a 14 week pregnancy update we yeah, are just updating you guys on basically my symptoms how I'm doing so far what I'm eating I'm just giving you guys an update on my doctor's appointments as far as my sonograms. I'll show you guys a couple pictures. I also wanted to share with you guys a new product that I am trying out. I'll also give you an update on how my belly looks. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into the video. So I have a couple of notes here on my phone. So if I'm looking down, then you guys know why. So I had a doctor's appointment on October 22nd, 2020. So I had a sonogram, it was a quick sonogram. I have two places that I go to. So I have my doctor that I see on a regular basis where I do my checkups, I do my blood work, all of that. And then I go to, um, I get a referral from my doctor to go see a pretty much like an in-depth sonogram where they have like 3D sonograms and just a more in-depth sonogram, a longer sonogram appointment basically. Yeah, just strictly sonogram appointment with the ultrasound tech or the sonographer, whoever, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, going into my doctor's appointment on October 22nd, 2020, this was on a Thursday. I went in at 10.20 in the morning. Um, I waited not too long, it was maybe about like 10, 15 minutes, and then they took me to the back. So they weighed me, they checked my blood pressure. I asked to see how much I gained since my first initial appointment. So my first initial appointment was on September 23rd, 2020. So from my first initial appointment to this appointment on the October 22nd, I gained five pounds since then, <laughs> which it doesn't seem like much. I, I honestly thought it would be more just because it's like my appetite has definitely increased. So I thought I'd be gaining a lot more weight than five pounds. But honestly, leading up to September 23rd and up to October 22nd, I have been throwing up. So that probably is a factor in losing weight and how much I've been gaining. So yeah, that definitely probably had a factor in it. I probably lost a whole bunch of weight just throwing up in the first initial weeks of before I even found out I was pregnant and after uh, finding out I was pregnant. But like I said in my recent video, I've been taking prenatals. So that's definitely helped with uh, my nausea and throwing up in the mornings, things like that. So that yeah, definitely decreased. Once they checked my blood pressure and they weighed me, I sat back down in the waiting room and they called me again because um, I had to wait for the doctor as well as the ultrasound tech. I mean, the doctor can perform the ultrasound, but there was also an ultrasound tech in there. She seemed kind of new. Um, I remember the first time I went in, um, she was shadowing. So I guess now, She's practicing, so yeah, she's fairly new um, doing my ultrasound. I could definitely tell because I asked a couple questions. She didn't really know the answer, and the doctor kind of had to step in and answer the questions. And also, uh, I didn't really get that many great pictures just because she was kind of new. A couple pictures came out blurry, so I only had like two great shots um, for my sonogram. And so yeah, that was kind of a bummer, but I got to see the baby, so. Everything is good, the baby's healthy. She was, um, he or she was moving around because um, my last appointment I had, the baby was completely asleep, was not budging at all, even when she was telling me to move on one side, move on the other side. She was pressing on my stomach for the baby to wake up, but um, I did eat a lot before my appointment, so that was probably a big factor in, you know, my baby sleeping. <laughs> So I just researched online and they say to drink like orange juice or drink soda, eat candy before you go into your appointment so that the baby is very active, moving around, things like that. So I did have some chocolate covered pretzels <laughs> while I was waiting to go into my appointment. So yeah, the baby was moving around a little bit so that definitely helped. Uh, I'll probably drink like a soda or something like that or just orange juice before my next appointment just because I want to see the baby moving around like yeah I definitely want to see the baby moving around jumping around yeah I just love going to my sonogram appointments I absolutely love going to my sonogram appointments <laughs> like honestly when I'm waiting in the waiting room for the doctor to come in I'm like oh my god because you know when you ever you go to a doctor like an urgent care it always takes forever for the doctor to come in and once you hear that knock you're like finally but yeah the wait is so long I just get so impatient I'm like come on I want to see my baby Oh yeah, 
um, yeah, I'm getting sidetracked. And honestly, I'm so mad. I wish I can show you guys the video of uh, my sonogram appointment of the baby just moving around in my stomach, but I honestly thought I was recording. But apparently I was just holding the camera up to the screen and I just didn't press play. I thought I did, I don't know what happened. Um, so I only captured two seconds of the sonogram. <laughs> So mad about that, I wish I could have recorded it so I can look back for myself because I'm always looking at my sonogram pictures in my phone and um, the ones that I have at home, I'm always looking at them. So I just wish I had that video, but it's okay. I have plenty more appointments to go to and um, yeah, I'll definitely show you guys the next time. But yeah, the baby was moving around. The baby, at one point, the baby was just chilling, laying on its back and it had its left foot or its left leg over its right and its left um, the left arm just chilling like this and it's so crazy because that's like exactly how I sleep anyone who knows me knows I don't sleep with a pillow like I honestly just sleep on my arm like this which I'm pretty sure it has some type of negative effect but that's just how I sleep I've always slept like that and that's exactly how the baby was just chilling so I'll throw in a picture of that and I thought that was like completely crazy so I'm like oh just like a little mini me but yeah it already has like habits or traits that I have which is pretty crazy once the sonogram was over she basically did blood work and this blood work specifically was for testing any like syndromes and also this test was specifically for gender as well gave me a pamphlet so i can easily just go online to check to see if it is a boy or a girl i don't know if i want to look or not i know he wants to i know he wants it to be a surprise he does want a girl <laughs> but he also wants it to be a surprise so i don't know if i might just like take a peek and then you know like i'll keep it a surprise for him I don't know, I'm also kind of nervous because once those test results get in, I'm just like, okay, well, the answer is on this link. So I don't know what I'm gonna do once those test results come in, who knows? Um, so yeah. She took like five vials of blood again, and I hate needles. And I was actually messaging my friend, we're all in a group message, so I was messaging my friend because she actually had um, a baby not too long ago as well so um, I was saying like oh my god I hate needles and she was just like girl you better get used to it they're gonna be old in your blood for the next you know couple months and I'm just like oh my goodness <laughs> but yeah it wasn't that bad um, when she took my blood I just was trying to distract myself she was asking me questions um, stuff like that. So I'm gonna get into the symptoms that I have. The number one thing that I have noticed is that my appetite has definitely increased. Like, definitely. So the things that I would eat on a normal basis, like before I was pregnant, I would just be full off of. But now it's like I eat it and then I have to eat it times two. So if I were to make a sandwich and some chips, I would have to make two sandwiches and chips or <laughs> If I have like a meal, I would have to pretty much, not twice as much, but just like add more just because it's like, this is not filling me up. So sometimes if I eat a meal, I'll still be hungry. I don't want to be completely full where it's like my stomach is in pain, but I'll have like cereal afterwards or just like yogurt or something just to kind of fill everything in just to make me not completely full, but just like satisfied, you know? So yeah, I definitely noticed a big change where it's like, um, even at work where I'm taking my lunch, it's like I'm taking two sandwiches now or I'm taking twice the amount of fruit. As far as cravings, I really haven't had too many cravings for any crazy things or cravings for like sweets or salty things. I think it's just been I just feel like it's just been normal like I've always had a craving for chocolate after I eat um, not every single day but every now and again I want chocolate after I eat yeah it hasn't been anything where I'm waking up in the middle of the night and I'm craving like pickles or anything like that I feel like it's still too early maybe maybe not but I still feel like it's still too early to get those strong cravings for food so yeah as far as cravings it's been just completely normal foods that I do eat I'm pretty much back to just eating like the normal things that I would usually eat except for steak I don't know why that's still just a thing that I just don't want to think about <laughs> or 
eat, anything like that. Um, but yeah, anything else, I am pretty much can just eat pretty much about anything. So another symptom that I've been having is lower stomach pressure and also um, back pain. So as far as lower stomach pressure, I, I feel like it's kind of gone away now but for the past week it's definitely been pretty bad um, especially when i'm laying down there's like a lower stomach pressure and sometimes if i press on my stomach um, it'll kind of go away so maybe the baby just moved around or just moved from that position so i just like press on my lower stomach just for the pain to go away as far as back pain back pain <laughs> has definitely increased, especially my tailbone. Tailbone pain is unbearable. <laughs> like, honestly, if I'm sitting down, um, if I'm laying like on my back or just laying on the floor, I kind of have to just get up pretty slowly so that I just, I'm just not in shock of this back pain. But yeah, the tailbone pain is, is pretty painful. <laughs> pretty painful. It's even, it's like hard to explain, but if you're pregnant and you guys have had symptoms of tailbone pain, then you guys know what I'm talking about. So I mentioned this in my other video, I've been peeing like every five minutes. Um, I'm still peeing a lot and like honestly, in the middle of the night or when I wake up in the morning, it's the worst pain. It's not like pain, but it's just the worst like I had mentioned before, it's just a feeling of you having to use the bathroom so bad and it's like you're in the car and the next rest stop or the next McDonald's and then for another like two, three miles. That's what it feels like when I wake up in the morning. It's just like I run to the bathroom because it just, it's just so much pressure on my bladder and it just feels so heavy and full. It also happens in the middle of the night, so I'll wake up late at night and I'll have to use the bathroom. So yeah, that's what's been going on. Another symptom that I have noticed is an itchy stomach. So I've seen this in just watching other videos of uh, pregnant women um, as your belly stretches. And mine isn't really that big for it to be itching like that, I don't think, but I've just noticed that in pregnant women who are further along than me and who are a lot bigger, um, their stomach will itch just because of, you know, your stomach is stretching out and then you also don't want to scratch your stomach just because that also um, inhibits stretch marks, which I do not want stretch marks, but I guess that comes along with pregnancy. <laughs> but also you can definitely prevent it, which I will show you guys what I have recently purchased. So I just wanted to get something, even though I'm not that big yet, I just wanted to start using a product just so that um, it'll, you know, I guess just create elasticity so when my stomach does stretch out then it won't be so harsh with that being said I will show you guys the product that I've been using for my stomach and it has definitely stopped my itchy stomach even when I'm putting lotion on my body I still feel like my stomach still needs that like extra like seal um, it, so it can just feel moisturized so this has definitely helped and has definitely stopped my stomach from itching so this is, I'll show you guys the packaging. So this is the Mambino or Mambino, however you say it, Organics Oh Baby Anti-Stretch Belly Butter. And it is organic, y'all already know <laughs> me and organic. This is what the packaging looks like. On the packaging, it gives you directions on how to use. It says morning or night. Um, allow the natural warmth of your hands to soften the butter, then massage onto abdomen, breast, and thighs. Um, after childbirth, continue to use to help in the rebound of your body. So you can definitely use it even after you give birth for additional benefits using conjunction with moisture, knee moisturizing body oil. I don't have the body oil. I just wanted to try this product just to see how um, it feels, see how it smells, see how it's, um, it's going to help me with my itching stomach. So it definitely has stopped. So y'all yeah, probably look more into this brand or if you guys know anything about this brand, let me know how good it is. And I'll probably try the body oil or any other products that they have. So yeah, that's what the packaging looks like. And then this is what the container looks like. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. So yeah, it comes with a little seal. I'll take that off. And I've already used some, of course. Honestly, it doesn't smell 
great, but it doesn't smell bad. It just smells like, I don't know, it has like a specific scent to it that's strong. It has a strong smell of like the shea butter and some type of oil. I don't know what it is, but it has a strong scent of that. And it's not bad. And honestly, I'd most likely buy this product again, but um, yeah, this definitely helped and it feels so moisturizing. It just feels like, um, I don't know if you guys ever tried jojoba oil, but I feel like jojoba oil for me is the most moisturizing oil that I've tried on my skin. Um, for a while, I was just using jojoba oil all over my body, like after I got out the shower. It would be better than lotion just because I feel like sometimes lotion is a lot more water-based, so it would dry out my skin even still after I put it on. Um, so jojoba oil is very moisturizing. So at one point I was using that straight instead of using lotion after I got the shower. That's how moisturizing it is. It just kind of feels like basically you're just putting like Vaseline over your stomach. Um, but obviously this has a lot more benefits. Let me know if you guys have tried this product before or any other products from this brand. Yeah, I'll definitely be looking more into this brand and seeing what other products that they have. Like they said they have the body oil. Um, I'm pretty sure they have more products than that. I'll just end off this video with things I'm looking forward to in my pregnancy. Looking forward to my stomach growing. <laughs> Even though I'm definitely enjoying, you know, as it goes. I'm not rushing or just waiting till I'm like completely huge, but I just like, that's what I'm looking forward to. <laughs> Another thing I'm also looking forward to is feeling my baby kick or just move around. That's definitely a number one thing that I'm excited for is just feeling my baby, just kick, move around, do whatever in there. <laughs> right now, I know he or she's like moving around a lot, um, but I just can't feel anything. It's just crazy to think that like they're just doing, just jumping around, they're doing somersaults or whatever, flipping upside down, all this stuff, sleeping and I just can't feel a thing. Sometimes I think like, I wonder if my baby's asleep. I wonder if she's jumping around. So I can't wait for me to actually feel those movements. But like I said, I'm just honestly just enjoying it right now. Like just not rushing anything. It's crazy to think that I'm three months and I'm not like big at all. I'm just, I don't even look pregnant. So if people were to look at me, honestly, you would never guess I'm Pregnant. Last thing, I'll just show you guys my belly shot. And I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you got to the end of this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see more of. And I'll see you guys in my next video.